Welcome to our Angular Deep Dive. Today we're tackling a fascinating question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to create dynamic components inside another component, and not just once, but multiple times based on dynamic data. This is a common scenario in Angular development, and it can be quite tricky. So let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To dynamically create components in Angular, we will use the Component Factory Resolver along with View Children. This allows us to create multiple instances of a component based on dynamic data. In our example, we have a parent component that receives an array of data and a component type to create. We will iterate over this data to generate a table with dynamic rows. Next, we will define a directive called host. This directive will help us retrieve references to the dynamically created components using view children. In the eng after view init lifecycle hook, we will create the dynamic components. We will loop through the retrieved hosts and create a component instance for each one, passing the necessary input data. Finally, ensure that you handle the component creation correctly. If you encounter issues, check that your view children and view child references are set up properly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create dynamic template references in Angular, first inject viewContainerRef into your host directive. Then, use the createComponent method to instantiate components. And that's it guys, we've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.